What's up, beautiful one? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Alexis Piper, the womanhood maximized mentor, Christian lifestyle strategist, and I am equipping the young adult women to flourish beyond facades of any kind so that you can come into womanhood in its most fulfilled state. Ah, yes. And in our vein of managing sexuality, I wanted to come on today. I hate when the ring light reflects on the glasses so let me take those off okay um i wanted to come in here today to talk to you about sexuality secrets sexuality secrets because i just feel that someone watching this video listening to these words this video got shared to you some type of way you stumbled across this some type of way because who you are somehow got mismanaged because somebody didn't properly look after you. Because somebody didn't properly look after you while you were at grandmama's house, while you was, uh, while mama ran to the store, went to work, because somebody didn't look after and protect your feminine physique. They didn't look after you. Who you are got lost. And because who you are got lost, now you have some sexuality secrets. Remember, we're talking about managing sex appeal. And this could be a reason why now you have some sexuality secrets. I want to put this disclaimer out right now that this is not to trigger you. This is not to set you back in any form of childhood trauma. This is for us to properly manage, to mend, mature, and master in your most fulfilled state because sometimes sexuality secrets can become the facade in which we dwell and park and reside in our womanhood or in the lost place of your femininity. And now you lean it all the way into... Um, Liking females, being transgender, liking, you know, you, you like men and women. We are managing sex appeal. And I'm putting this disclaimer because I am not trying to trauma you, trigger you, label you, offend you. I am trying to equip you. Because sometimes a facade remains when we don't understand why we feel, think, are the way that we think, feel, or are. And so let me take a moment to apologize to you for how somebody didn't properly look after you. I'm sorry. But I want to let you know that although it has impacted you, we're not negating its impact. But what we are doing is inviting you to acknowledge and accept the invitation to mend. To mend and to mature your inward condition your thought, your mindset, your disposition, your countenance, your temperament so that you can truly flourish into your most fulfilled state because the facade and the inner uncertainty and the lack of clarity around the sexuality secret, that's not you living in your most fulfilled state. That's, that's, that's confusion. That's doubt. That's delusion. That's deception. And I want to invite you into mending maturity and mastery. And so number one, okay, dishonoring happened. A dishonoring happened to you somewhere, whether it's self-inflicted, whether it's externally inflicted, or whether it's societally inflicted, something a dishonoring has happened. Dishonoring meaning that you were not well looked after. A dishonoring meaning you were not well, um, you, didn't, you didn't feel safe. 
you were hurt, you were harmed, whether emotionally, physically, verbally, okay, a dishonoring happened. And after the dishonoring happened, a wound formed, a wound, a wound, W-O-U-N-D, it formed. After dishonoring happened, a wound formed. And you have been living your life in this place of wound. You've been wounded. And you've been living your life there. You have some success stories. Yes. You have made some strides. Yes. You have maybe, hopefully, gone to therapy. Yes. Okay. You have maybe been told, oh, just pray about it. God going to take it away. And if that has been your story, I apologize for that too. Okay, because you may be upset that God allowed that to happen. You may not understand why that happened to you if God is this loving God. And if that is your story, can I touch your wound? Can I bring some soothing balm to your wound? I want you to now choose to not let it mark you or to not let it make you. I want for you now to choose to know that the love of God is to help you handle your wound in a way that you can walk through the residue and embrace yourself being reframed, repositioned in a place of refuge. Humanity has its flaws. Humanity has its frailties. God has the ability to handle your frailty in a way that can reframe you so that you can flourish, so that you can build beyond the ashes, the residue, the self point of infliction. As a result of your wound that was formed because the dishonoring happened, you inwardly made a vow to yourself. This inward vow to yourself, you said things like, I'm never going to let this happen to me again. I'm going to make sure that this doesn't happen to my sibling, my children. I am never going to trust again. I am not going to feel safe again. I am not going to be in a position where I am left alone again. I am now going to do whatever I can do to make sure I can defend myself moving forward. You have made an inward vow to yourself that now says the opposite sex cannot be trusted. You have made inward vows to yourself that now allows you to have sexuality secrets because nobody else knows these inward vows and promises that you made to yourself. Nobody knows that the outward persona that you are portraying is truly embedded in a dishonoring that happened to you. Nobody knows that you are on this island all by yourself amongst people that celebrate and praise you for what your career success is, for what your um, intellectual property is, for what your talents and gifts are. You realize that you are now trapped in a facade because you have made all of these secret vows that nobody else knows about. Whew. And the only way out, the only way out of self-preservation, self-protection, shame, 
regret, anger, unforgiveness, irritation, sexuality secrets, now that has been shaped into a misplaced identity, is for you to verbally acknowledge and confess them. Verbally acknowledge and confess them. That's your way out. That's step one. And that step one can be a huge step. And something that I'm realizing in my life right now is that steps can have, feel like 10 million pieces and parts are in that one step. Nevertheless, it's a step towards liberty. And I want to invite the sexuality secrets that have been formed from a dishonoring, that has been formed from a disservice, that has been formed from now a wound that you've put your own band-aid on that you made these inward vows to yourself that you would never. And now you're always looking over your shoulder. You don't want to put your kids in daycare. You don't want to, you don't want to do nothing. You want to be hands-on, the one you, it's morphed into a couple of things. It's morphed into control. It's morphed into um superwoman. It's morphed into savior. You being somebody save the day, savior. You've been, you, it's morphed into homosexuality. It's morphed into trauma that's just taken a new form. And the first step is to verbally Acknowledge and confess the dishonoring, the disservice, the, inwardly the inward vow that you made to yourself. Is it easy? No. Will it cause you to have to go back and face some things mem like memory wise? Yeah. And maybe that's what you've been wanting to avoid. But we can never move forward if we, 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 handcuff, we handcuff ourselves to our past. But we paint the picture like we're not bound. Like it doesn't bother you. There is a need for therapy and theology. I have a resource for you called the Healing Balm. I have a package for you that the Healing Balm is in and it's called the Hagar Package. And it is designed for the woman who feels a little hopeless, who feels a little disappointed and discouraged about life, who feels like God doesn't see her, abandoned her, left her, mistreated her, abused her, walked away from her, who has all these inner secrets of shame, of regret, of poor decisions, of anger, hurt, hatred even. And you've carried on with life, but you carry all of these inward vows. The Hagar package, the healing balm, it walks you through various levels of places in your life, in your womanhood, in your despair, in your defeat, in all the things so that we can heal, mend, mature, and meet your most maximized state, okay? We are managing sex appeal. We're managing sex appeal because the overflow of that it can, it can also overflow into 
how you give your body away or don't give it away. Um, it, it's so many different levels and tiers of how it's morphed into something else. So I'm going to stop this right here. And I want you to pat yourself on the back because you didn't pause. You didn't stop. You didn't say, I'm not listening to this no more. Why is she, why she even talking about this? Why does it have to come out? I don't want to hear it. I want you to pat yourself on the back that you made it through this video. Although tears may have fallen. Although feelings may have surfaced. Pat yourself on the back home, girl, because you made it through. And if you are a woman who nothing dishonoring or disservice happened to you, but you've somehow made some inward vows to yourself and you have your own sexuality secrets, or you know a friend and know a friend and you need to share this video, I want you to do that. And I also want you to like, subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications, follow me over on Instagram, search for the treasures in the description box below because that is where the links are going to be to lead you to your step, okay? Your step into meeting yourself in fulfillment and in your ability to flourish, all right? All right, it's been real. I love you. God loves you even more, but I want to encourage you to love yourself enough to love God back. And you might, well, how am I going to love God back in this regard? <laughs> it's by taking that step to verbally acknowledge and confess your secret sexuality and the inward vows that you made to yourself. And if you also have an apprehension to salvation, like I don't know about God, I'm going to link that treasure in the description box below as well for you. Okay. All right. It's been real. It's been real. And until next time, what we going to do? We going to love God back. So let's do this.